What a Catch, Part 86, a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you have not heard the previous 85 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you find the narration speed either too fast or too slow for your tastes, you can click the settings wheel and adjust it to your liking. So, you're saying he was akumatized this entire time? Nino asked. His eyebrows were knitted together, an unsuccessful attempt to disprove Alia's words. Lila was there for the first five minutes to verify the story before being thrown out to buy drinks. How is that possible? Marinette said, sitting on the edge of the chair. And why didn't we notice? Chloe added. Do you guys realize how flexible his power is? Alia said. Anytime we discovered it, he could easily replace the memory. So, have we done it before? Your guess is as good as mine. Who's to say we aren't in a memory right now? I doubt it. I think we'd only remember something that didn't happen. But right now, we're experiencing this moment here, together, now. But what about Adrian? Marinette asked. Nino could hear the faint whisper of fear in her voice. I looked him straight in the eye so many times this last week. He wasn't lying. He wasn't aware. I wouldn't be surprised if he wiped his own memory a few times. He wouldn't do that! He wouldn't give in to Hawkmoth like that! Okay, Marinette, Chloe cut in. In case you haven't noticed, you're the only one in this room who hasn't been akumatized. While the actions while akumatized certainly come from agency, trying to resist his hold is nothing short of torture, both physically and mentally. That, Nino said, and I'm sure it was more Adrian wanting to forget his experiences than forgetting he was akumatized. He watched as Marinette stared at the floor, unresponsive except for the tears of hysteria she fought back. I just don't get it, she whispered. All of these years. Is Hawk Moth that strong? I saw the scariest part of him yesterday, Alia said, making her way over to her. Adrian? Hawkmoth. What happened? He laughed. He laughed? Like a regular person. He's human like the rest of us, and yet he can do such terrible things, exposing his victims to a possible lifetime of guilt. He's just a man who has tasted power. And that's a scary thing? Oh, Marinette, Alia said, pushing up her glasses. There's nothing scarier than a man who has let go of his humanity while enjoying the benefits of being human. She was right. Nino felt a chill run up his spine as he imagined the supervillain doing everyday things, like buying apples at the farmer's market or making a baby smile. It was frightening to think that he would have no problem turning around and killing the vendor and murdering a child if it meant he got what he wanted. Alia was right. Hawk Moth was scarier than ever. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on your favorite fan fictions. You can check out these other videos for more. I'll catch you next time.